also guys in this NFS Master 1-5 with a free glitches video of GTA 5 now I'm going to show you the first glitch with this car now, I don't know if you know about this but if you get the normal buffalo which I've got nicked off the road taking to Los Santos you can remove the front the rear and the side panels. So we've got the pumpers and if you if you buy this pumper and spawn up and down you'll notice the one front bump has disappeared. Kind of. Front splitter. Buy a rear bumper, going up and down, so you land on stock, and you see that the rear bumper has disappeared. You can only see the exhaust pipe. And then we go to skirts, buy a second skirt, spam up and down, and you'll notice that the side skirts have disappeared. So it makes the car look, look a bit more unique. But yeah, that's how you do the buffalo side skirt and front bumper glitch for this car. Now the next glitch I'm going to show you if I don't get killed because I've got a 7 gram bounty on me because I stole that buffalo is a panto glitch uh, it's a panto glitch where you can remove quite a lot of the stuff on it so I'm going to get my panto on now What we're gonna do is just buy a normal panto. I'll show you what step by step. <clears throat> Get your panto to look like this. But if you look inside, the roof's still there, and so is the rear. So what we're going to do is take your panto into Los Santos Customs. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? Let me just take all the bodywork back on. So once you've bought your panto, then up a little bit, you should have all your body kits on like this. So what you're going to want to do is go to bumpers, front bumper, and you're going to want to buy the sticker bomb front bumper, and then scroll up right to the top to stock, it should disappear like that. Click on stock, rear bumper, do exactly the same, buy the stick on rear, go right to the top and click on stock and it should disappear. for now because it looks pretty sick uh, go to roof go to stick bomb and just scroll up scroll keep keep scrolling until you land on stock like that it's 
biscuits. Exactly the same. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Where is it? Where's the fenders? Uh, body work. Ah, there they go. Go to stick them on fenders and then to land on none. Got no winners, and no, none of that stuff. And I think that is it. Can whatever spot I want. Now this one looks strange because it's not actually connected to anything. But yeah, you can have loot. have floating skirts if you wanted to what I'm going to do is change the colour of the car put my crew emblem That's kind of like one of the ways to put a glitched out panto, but I'm just going to change some stuff up on this because I'm changing the colour of it. And if you guys don't know, I'll show you. Oh, you listen to the crew horn. That's the crew horn. So that is the glitched out panto. It looks a whole lot better, in my opinion. Forever. If you go in first person, everything's back on. But now the last glitch I'm going to show you, show you guys, is in fact a T-shirt slash outfit glitch. So what you want to do is come over to a clothes shop, and I'm going to just go to this one because it's the closest. And you want to go to the outfits, go down to heist, heist coveralls, click on the red one, which I've got on right now. Then you want to jump back into your vehicle, make sure you're a VIP slash CEO, sorry about my voice. It's be a CEO or a VIP, works for both. Then go to Security Cove, Management, Style, one to the left, one to the right, press back, 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 get out, and you'll see this, these spawn on. Bookstars. And I think that's pretty good, but you cannot save this outfit. You can only have to keep doing this quite a couple of times. But yeah, that's how you get the book that outfit in GTA. So there are the glitches I can show you. 
but the best glitch of all is the Panto glitch. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll be seeing you all soon. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content. See you later guys, peace out.